third hindrance, now we've talked about the hindrances yesterday. First one was uh, sensual desire, second one was ill will, third one, sloth and torpor, laziness and lassitude of the mind. Now that is counteracted in every meditative endeavor, no matter how little concentration there is, by going back to the meditation subject over and over again. Now, obviously, if we discipline the mind to do this, and if we urge the mind and encourage the mind not to be discursive, but to stay in one spot, it gains strength. And eventually it's strong enough to stay where we want it to stay. And eventually it's strong enough to think what it wants to think and not to think what it doesn't want to think. Obviously, anyone who can do that would never be unhappy because only a, f a fool becomes involunt uh, voluntarily unhappy. We do it involuntarily. So if we become really master of the mind, unhappiness could never enter. But that's the top of the mountain. We've got to keep climbing.